Hey everyone. So I'm sorry I'm late. Um, I was running around, got caught in traffic, um, but I'm here. So in her piece, <laughs> in her piece says, girl, he was chewing her up. Here's the thing though. A lot of people don't know that this man's orientation is questionable. I'll just say that. Um, Daisy Divinity says, ready for the tea. Everyone is talking about this. Okay. So everyone has seen the snippet of Kevin Samuels uh, being really disrespectful to this young woman, telling her that he, you know, this woman will die alone and whatnot. And I saw a tweet. Okay. Everyone's talking about this, right? Like everyone's talking about this. There was a tweet from one of my favorite authors ever. His name is G.L. Lambert. And this is the thing. I, the video, the title of this video is every woman should listen to GL Lambert, because if you must listen to male advice on dating, or if you must listen to a male about dating advice, the only male you should be listening to is GL Lambert, point blank period. GL Lambert actually cares about women. GL Lambert wants the best for women. GL Lambert is not misogynistic, sexist, or in competition with women. And uh, like I said before, there's a lot of people writing posts online talking about this man being questionable. His, orient his sexual or orientation is questionable. A lot of people suspect that this man is gay and the way he treats women, <clears throat> the way he upholds his male audience, puts his male audience on a pedestal as high value men and degrades women it, 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 it wouldn't surprise me that those uh, suspicions are correct, right? Um, because if a man is genuinely wanting to help and support women make the best decisions possible when it comes to dating, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to marriages, there is no way a man would speak to a woman like this, okay? Um, yeah, okay, so Royal 1993. So girl, I found, I'm doing the video. I'm doing the video you requested. So Royal 1993, um, right here. <laughs> she suggested that I make a video on GL Lambert. And I thought this is the perfect opportunity to do the video on GL Lambert because he, GL Lambert made a, um, a tweet. So I'm going to show you the tweet right quick. Um, and then we can look at the video of this poor young girl. She, she's beautiful. Okay. Let me tell you personally, let me tell you what I know personally. Let me tell you what I know personally. This young lady right here, 35, with a 13-year-old boy can pull a million, millionaire. Point blank, period. She can. I've seen women look worse than her pull a millionaire. And, and just really quickly before I get into the quote, um, before I get into the tweet by G.L. Lambert, you know, Kevin Samuels is obsessed with numbers, okay? He's obsessed with numbers. He, you know, he'll ask a woman, what's your dress size? What's your weight? Rate yourself one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like he's obsessed with numbers. He's obsessed with the number, the age number, the weight number, the dress size number, the ranking number. Listen, when it comes to relationships and love and attraction and especially seduction, trust me, numbers are thrown out of the window when you understand the psycho the psychology beyond behind seduction and attraction and relationships point blank period okay when you understand the psychology of seduction all those numbers this man this man talks about goes straight out the window all right yes numbers help in the in the, in the beginning but let me tell you a woman who's 40 who has three kids who might be 170 pounds who might be a dress size 10, you know, all these things he says can work against a woman. A woman like that can pull a millionaire and I've seen it. I've seen it. Okay. And just really quickly, really quickly, think about this. Let me tell you how wrong Kevin Samuel, Sam, Samuels is. Let me tell you how wrong he is. Think about the wife of Mark Zuckerberg. How would you rate her? Is she, is she a 10 in the look department? Is she a 10? If you go look up Mark Zuckerberg's wife, look her up. Go look up Bill Gates' wife. Look her up. Go look up Warren Buffett's wife. Go look them up. Go look up Jeff Bezos' wife. Go look them up. These women are not tens. 
These women are average looking. They're average looking. They're average looking women. And they snag billionaires. So don't listen to men like this. If you want to listen to a man, you know, I highly suggest if you want dating advice, relationship advice, I personally would suggest Shira Seven. Um, she has changed. I like, I love Shira. Um, but if you must listen to a man, if you must take the perspective of a man, take it from G. L. Lambert. Point blank, period. G. L. Lambert. Do not listen to this fool, Kevin Samuels. His sexual orientation is, is questionable, all right? A lot of suspicions are out there that he's gay, okay? But just listening to him be obsessed about these numbers, oh, only, only eight nines or tens get high value men. When you have Mark Zuckerberg's wife, average. When you have Jeff Bezos' wife, average. When you have uh, Warren Buffett's wife, average. When you have Bill Gates' wife, average in a looks department, right? And then people say, well, they were with their husbands for a long time. Yes. However, however, Jeff Bezos' new girlfriend, you know, Ke Kevin Sanders will sit here all day and talk about, oh, you have to be in your 20s. Oh, high value men don't want no old woman. Oh, you 30, you 35, you 40. Oh, high value men don't want. Jeff Bezos' girlfriend is in her 50s. Jeff Bezos divorced his wife and got a girlfriend in her 50s. Stop, please ignore this man and his obsession with numbers and metrics that don't really matter. Like I said, once you understand the psychology of attraction, seduction, and dating and relationships, you have no limits. You have no limits. All right, now, let me, let me show you GL Lambert's tweet, okay? So here we go. Now, this is why I tell all the women to, what the heck? Why, see, the computer is acting crazy now. What is going on? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Jill Lambert says, average look, so he's quoting Kevin Samuels, right? Jill Lambert says, average looking women don't qualify for men in the top 10%. Average women belong with average men. So this is what Kevin Samuels said, right? Jill Lambert says, stop listening to these peasants. Supreme confidence opens doors. Supreme charisma sparks attraction. Dress the part, talk the part, be the part, and you can snatch your type. Okay? Point blank, period. Point blank, period. Confidence. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you, the woman that was featured in this video is attractive. Point blank, period. I don't care. You know what, if, for all we know, that man could be colorist and say she's average because she's darker skinned, right? But um, like I said, if you ever need a reference, y'all, if you ever need a reference, G.L. Lambert is the GOAT. If you must listen to a male, listen to G.L. Lambert. That's all I'm gonna say. This is his book. This is on Audible. If you want a free trial of Audible, I got the hookup for y'all. So you can listen to whole tactics. You can click the link below in my description in the freebie section, get a free 30 day trial of Audible and listen to whole tactics. Stop listening to men, stop listening to men like Kevin Samuels. If you really want advice from a man that actually cares about women, listen to Kev listen to GL Lambert. Do not listen to Kevin Samuels. GL Lambert in his books. Now, GL Lambert has written several books, but Whole Tactics is a staple. Before you read any of his other books, before you listen to any of his other books, okay? Before you listen to any other of his books, listen to Whole Tactics. If you want a free trial of Audible so you can listen to this book for free for 30 days, I got the hookup in my freebie section in the description. So if you click below in the description, you can get a free 39 day trial of Audible and you listen to this book. Please, every woman, do yourself a favor. Listen to this book. Okay, now let me read some of these comments. Um, oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, Melanie Hazelton says, hey, I'm late. Are you referring to Kevin Samuels? Yes, girl, look, let me show you. So this is the video, right? Um. This video right here where he just like 
completely disrespect this like, young lady, talk, calling her average and call her she'll never. And the thing is, it's like only, look, if you look at the wives of all the billionaires, even Jeff Bezos' new girlfriend is not that cute. Like she's average and she's 50, she's like in her 50s. Jeff Bezos' new girlfriend is in her 50s. Look it up. Look it up. Jeff Bezos' new girlfriend is in her 50s. So all of this talk about how older women can't secure the bag, all this talk about how older women, high value men don't want older women, it's a lie. All this talk about how high value men don't marry average looking women, it's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Don't believe this man. His sexual orientation is questionable. He's obsessed with metrics. He's obsessed with a woman's weight, with a woman's dress size, with a woman's uh ranking. Oh, you're one or 10. Her age. The Machiavellian Empress. Hey, girl. Kevin makes me barf. Yeah, me too. He's gay. Melanie Hale. And there's nothing wrong with get, being gay. It's just like he's on the DL and I have a lot of... I love gay men of color, man. They are amazing. They'll tell you the truth. They are wonderful friends. And in my experience, gay men of color have been way more protective of black women than just like straight men of color, unfortunately. Um, Melanie Hazelson says, um, I thought that's who you were speaking of. Yes, the Machiavellian Emperor says, preach. <laughs> Dee crazy. Dee Dee says, I hate Kevin's ugly suit. He wears it every day too. Um, Machiavellian says, I'm a bigger girl and losing weight. You think after the weight loss, I'll be able to pull a high earner. Okay, Machiav listen, losing weight will definitely help you. But right now, if you start dating right now, and you start to understand the game, and you start to you know understand psychology. I highly recommend whole tactics. Like I'm serious, I'm serious. There's no excuse. I'm telling you, I got the hookup, free 30 day trial of Audible. You can listen to whole tactics for free for 30 days. I got the hookup in the description. Listen to whole tactics. As a bigger girl, you can get spoiled by someone who's in the six figure range. And even if they're not in a six figure range, you can still get spoiled. Like. It's psychology. It's not metrics. And if like if, if Kevin understood this, you know, if he understood that it's about psychology above all else, above someone's dress size, above someone's weight, above someone's rank, looks ranking, above someone's age, like. Well, you know, what? actually, maybe he does understand this. Maybe he's just lying to women, telling them, oh, well, you're 35 and you have a 13 year old boy and you're average in the looks department. What's your dress size? How much you weigh? He's lying. He's lying to women on purpose because he's in competition with women. The heck? Um, Shira is the goat. Mackie Valen Prince says, why would she go on the show? In her piece says, why would she go on the show? He has a reputation. Girl, I don't know. Tony Gaskins is good too. I don't know. Nothing about no Tony Gaskins. I'm not sure. Is he the one that talks about the diamonds? Um, Terry Glazier says, hey girl. Uh, <laughs> I hate this numerology system. Sorry to say it's silly, untrue, unrealistic. Um, what, 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 what is this? Who, who, what? Nobody can take advantage out of you. Okay, Royal 1993. Listen, Royal 1993, if every woman read whole tactics, if every woman right now went to Audible, use my free link. You can do it for free, a th free th 30 days. You can use Audible for free. For 30 days. If everyone did this and listened to whole tactics, it would be game over for men. I'm telling you right now, if every woman read the book Whole Tactics and then watched Shiva's channel, like watch a bunch of her videos, it would be game over for men. Men wouldn't know what to do they all would be acting right. You understand me? They all would be acting right and treating women with the respect they deserve, with the with the spoiling the women deserve, right? Like. <sighs> Didi. 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 <laughs> Fighter, do you see this right here? Diddy coming for your neck. Diddy. <laughs> oh, 
Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, yo. This, yo. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh Okay, um Real 1993 says you'll slaughter them players and they'll leave the game. I mean, here's the thing. If everyone read whole tactics, right? And I'm telling you right now, everybody on this live, you need to go into my description below. Go to the freebie section and download Audible for free and you'll use it for free for for 30 days. The one book you should get is Whole Tactics and you should listen to it every day while you're putting on your makeup, while you're getting ready, while you're lotioning, while you're dressing. When you're getting ready, listen to Whole Tactics. I guarantee you it will change your life. This is coming from a man. This is a man's perspective. This man cares about women. This man is not suspiciously uh, questionable with his orientation. And he actually wants the best for women. If you go on Twitter right now and you follow Gio Lambert, right? If you go on Twitter right now and follow him, <clears throat> you will see thousands of women raving. You will see thousands of women saying, wow, this man changed my life. Thank you so much for this book. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No women say that about Kevin Samuels. No women say that about Kevin Samuels. There are no women around talking about, oh man, Kevin Samuels, he, he changed my life. He gave me great relationship advice. Kevin Samuels isn't for women. He is for men. He serves men. He strokes a male's ego. G.L. Lambert gives practical advice for women. G.L. Lambert helps women. Kevin Samuels does not help women. Kevin Samuels has built a platform off of disrespecting, degrading, and talking down and tearing down women's self-esteem. He doesn't actually care about women. BC, listen, look, order the book, but I'm telling you right now, also, you know, get Audible. It's free. I got a free trial for you in the freebie section of my description box. And it helps. Like, if you just listen to it, because, like, if you read, you got to sit down and read, right? You have to sit down. You might not have time to sit down and read. But if you listen to an audiobook, <clears throat> like, while you're getting ready in the morning, while you're putting on your makeup, while you're, you know, taking a shower, while you're drying off, lotioning, dressing, you can be listening to this. And I'm telling you, this stuff will change your life. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Terry Glazer says, I'm being facetious when I said his Kevin's numerology system, it's not a numbers game with uh, there unless we continue. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, listen, if, if all women together just was like, nah, I ain't messing. Because a lot of men here, like, you know, he he talks down to women. He talks down to women, but he doesn't, he, he never whips the men into shape. He never, he never whips the men into shape. And honestly, when, when we think about the demographic he mostly works with, he mostly works with Black people in the black community and the women do so much better than the men in the black community like <clears throat> black women graduate from college and graduate school at much higher rates black women stay out of prisons at much higher rates black women um open up businesses at, mu at businesses at much higher rates black women um succeed in corporate america at much higher rates so it's just like if you really want to whip up, you know, if you really want to help the black community, you'd be focusing on the men and telling them to get their stuff together because black women already been had their stuff together. Like we've been holding down the flagpole for a very long time uh, while the men just out here in and out of jail, not holding down jobs and stuff. So, I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> Thanks. Thanks, Melanie Hazleton. Girl, the Machiavellian Empress, just do it. Do it. Everyone on this live, if you are a woman on this live, I'm not playing with y'all. Like, there's no excuse. Just drop everything. Get whole tactics. This is the audible right here. Drop everything. Get whole tactics right here. Get it. I have a link in my description below where in the freebie section, you can get audible for free for 30 days and you can listen to this book for free for 30 days. Get it get it 
it would change the world. I'm telling you, if everyone read this book, it would change the world. If everyone just listened to this book, it would change everything. Thanks, Melanie. Greg, hey, Greg, I don't know. I don't know you. Uh, world 1993 says this man's world, this is a man's world, so might as well understand these tactics to protect your sanity. That's the least you can do. Keep your pride, girl. Absolutely. I'm telling you, man, it, it, the world would change if everyone read this book. Um, all right. And, and I mean, like, fighter, you keep begging for attention. This is, this is not for you, fighter. I mean, if you want to, like, debate, you know, like, get your channel up. Get your, get your metrics up, fighter. This video is not for you, fighter. This video is for women. You on my live, you know, saying stuff. And it's like, this is, video is not for you, fighter. It's not for you. Um, let me help the women, please. You have Kevin Samuels. If you love Kevin Samuels so much, go to his channel and support him. You on my channel. This channel is for women. I'm, I help women. My, my goal is not to help men. They already have patriarchy for their help and support. I'm, I'm here to help women. So you, you, can, you can just go. All right. Um, Daisy Divinity, I'm definitely going to pick up that book. Thanks for the free Audible trial. Yes, Daisy Divinity. Yes, girl. Get that free Audible trial. Everybody on this live, I have a freebie. I have the hookup for y'all in my description. If you click on my link below in the description under the freebie section, you can get a free 30-day trial of Audible and listen to whole tactics. They will, I think they, they allow you to have like one book for free. So get this book, okay? Let this be your first Audible book. It will change your life. It will change your life. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. No matter what size you are, you know, like no matter no matter what age you are, no matter how you rank in the look scale, no matter if you're five or four, this book will give you the mentality to 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 use whatever you have at your disposal to your advantage. Okay. And that's what it's about. Like, not everybody is born a 10. Not everybody is born with the best body. Not everybody is born, you know, with the best personality. But if you read and you educate yourself, this is why. So, like, I'm, I'm a huge nerd and I'm, I'm, I'm an educator by trade. Like, that's my profession, right? Um, I'm in a PhD program. And one thing I've learned throughout my years, you know, I used to be a nerd, man. I used to be a nerd. Like, no guy. Well, that's not true. Not no guy would talk to me. But, like. I wasn't a guy magnet because I was such a nerd. And one thing I learned, I had great study habits, great information information seeking habits that allowed me to level up in a way where now I am a guy magnet. And now like I have a bunch of guys pursuing me, spoiling me, giving me what I want because I studied the game. And 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 one of the biggest things that has helped me study for the game is this book called Tactics. Everybody should read this book. You can read it. You can listen to it for free on Audible. Please use my link in the description. There is no excuse. When I come back and make another live, every last one of y'all women on this live right now should have read some of this book. Don't come back on my live. Do not come back on my live without having read or listened. You don't even got to read it. You just got to listen to it on Audible without having listened to some of this book, at least the first chapter. Do not come back to my channel without having listened to the first chapter of this book. This is how important this book is. <laughs> oh gosh. Didi says, I have a theory that G.L. Lambert is actually Tony Gaskins under a different name, possibly, I don't know. Fighter says, I'm buying the book. Good fighter, good. I'm telling you that book will change everything. Thanks, Melanie. Good girl. Yes. Great, Melanie. Melanie, after this live, listen to this book. And then you come back and you tell me if this book isn't revolutionary. This book is revolutionary. <laughs> oh, so the Machiavellian Empress said, <laughs> that's right, Mac. That, yes, that's right. It's, it is a man's world, which is why we got to finesse their rules. Absolutely. Absolutely. Understand, this is a man's world. So the rules they make are not meant to benefit women. The rules they make are meant to benefit themselves. So finesse their rules, bend their rules, break them, completely disregard them because they're not meant for your benefit and they're not for your best interest as women. 
it's always one troll in this track. Okay, Daisy Divinity, listen now. Listen, girl. Listen. Listen. You already know. <laughs> fighter is a fighter. Yeah, you know, but sometimes he just be fighting the wrong things. Fighter need to be fighting himself. <clears throat> Melanie Hazleton. Um, yeah, that's right. Education is key to success. Um, BC says, I'll use the link. Yes, everybody, use that link. I got it. I got the hook up, y'all. You can listen to this book for free for 30 days. If you go in my description, go to the freebie section, click on the link, get a free 30 days of Audible so you can listen to Whole Tactics for free for 30 days. And after you start listening to it, you want to want to buy some honestly you probably going to keep your subscription because you're going to want to buy like more of his books but whole tactics is like the start like you have to start with whole tactics like i wouldn't start with any of his other books because whole tactics is like the brutal truth it's it's the game it's like the code it's the code real 1993 says you on chapter eight okay girl and one thing, one thing about the book, please, y'all, listen, you, I read this book last year and now I'm like, I started to read it again this year. It takes time to really let these concepts and this mentality to sink in, right? But understand when he tells you that the most powerful way to get stuff is by completely avoiding SEX, he is telling the absolute truth make sure you really if you don't listen to anything else listen to the no sex advice that's honestly honestly and people are like what really Terry Glazer says you're buffering. Okay. Oops. Fighter says I'm reading whole tactics and buying the physical just to be up on game. Okay. Okay, fighter. <clears throat> so here's the thing. You remember, I remember I got um, I was like made fun of on this one live because somebody was like, Oh, you on this guy's channel, but he's not on yours. And I'm like, well, I'm getting game. I'm getting game on that side, and I'm getting game on my side. And I was like, I quoted this Sun Tzu uh, quote about, you know, he. it goes along the lines of, if you know your enemy, but you don't know yourself, then you'll lose like half of the battles. If you know yourself, but don't know your enemy, you're going to, you know, lose half the battles. But if you know yourself and you know your enemies, you'll win the war. So you have to stay up on game. You have to stay up on game. So... You know, even Kevin, even though Kevin Samuels is very harsh, you know, just understand these are the the thoughts that are being indoctrinated in a lot of these men. So if you understand the mindset, you you I mean you're already halfway there with uh putting together a really effective strategy when you go to war. And honestly, love is war, right? Like relationships and dating is a form of war. And a lot of women need to look at it like that. Like you really need to look at it as a type of warfare and, and struggle. Um, and you have to be very focused on what you want. Let me tell you, the women who get played are the women who do not focus on what they want. And even though like women are completely brainwashed into believing that we are supposed to be pleasing other people. But I'm telling you right now, the women who focus on what they want are the women who win. The women who are in control of themselves are the women who win. The women who do not let men derail them from their goals and what they're trying to get are the one or the women who win and trust me if you're very firm on what you want you will drop every single male who is not giving it to you you be like oh, okay you don't okay all right bye 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 and you will listen you will save so much time you will get to the male or the man who will give it to you so much quicker and and you'll be able to invest more time into that man who is giving you what you want and you're not wasting because a lot of women you're wasting a lot of time you're wasting a lot of time when you deal with men who don't give you what you want 
So when you are ruthless with cutting off men who do not give you what you want, you win. You win. Get good at cutting people off. Get good at it. The faster you get good at cutting people off, the faster you will find the one that, that really wants to please you. <clears throat> So BC says money is what men value most since that is what defines their rank in the world. Demand his investments before you sleep. Oh, yeah. Listen, listen, here's the thing. This is why um, this is why gold diggers always have men because they require the men that they entertain to invest in them. The more a man spends on you, the less likely he is to leave because he's thinking about, dang, like I invested all this all these resources, like men typically don't drop their investments. That's why one of the best strategies of keeping a man is to make him invest in you because men just don't drop their investments. Men, men just don't drop things that they've invested a lot of resources in. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, Real Deal Financial. So Real Deal Financial, here we have another man who cares about women. Okay. This is Jonathan. Jonathan cares about women. I would go over to his channel. I would click on the little icon. I would go click on his icon and subscribe to his channel. Okay, he he cares about women. Um, Melanie Hazelton, I'm really hooking y'all up. Listen, I can't, listen. I don't want to be the only one out here getting what I want. I want all y'all to be out here getting what you want. I want all of you to have the confidence and the self-esteem to just drop niggas when they don't act right. Like, just drop them. They don't want to spend, drop them. Drop them. Drop them. And you save a lot of time. Ooh. <clears throat> Didi says, universe is right. This book is one of the best things you could ever do for yourself. Listen to it on Audible all day long with one ear bit, where, with one earbud wherever you go. And the thing is, like I said, if you're new, if you're on the stream and you're like just watching, go to my description link below. And I got the hookup for y'all. If you click, if you go to the freebie section and you click on the free Audible trial, you'll get a free trial of Audible for 30 days and you can get whole tactics and, and listen to it for free for 30 days. Okay. So there's no excuse. I don't want to hear about, oh, I can't buy the book. It's free. I got the hookup for y'all. Go to my description, click the link, get it free. The Royal, <laughs> Royal 1993 says, by spreading your legs without commitment, you'll be the only one crying in the end. Hell yeah. That's why I be telling them. Listen, and you don't even got to do that to get an investment from a man. You don't got to spread nothing to get investments. And that's the thing, like in the book, Whole Tactics, he teaches you like, all you gotta do is promise. Like, oh yeah, it's coming, baby. It's coming. It don't never have to come, but you get money. <laughs> Terry Glazer says, yes, Universe Trips University is open. <laughs> Y'all silly. Listen, I'm just, listen, I, I, I can spot a man who really cares about women. G.L. Lambert really cares about women. Real Deal Financial, who's on this chat, really cares about women. Um, so listen to the men who you know care about women. Don't listen to the men who who don't. Who don't, okay? Whew. I mean, it's silly. It's like, it's like, it's like, here's another thing that I've heard. It's like only a fool would let their children be educated by the enemy. And this is, I mean, this is just like in the pro-black area, uh, of the internet that I've heard is it's like, honestly, why do black people send our children to schools where, where we know we're going to be moving targets for like white races? It's like only a fool gets educated by her enemy. So women going to men who hate women, who, who obviously are, uh, work to tear women's self-esteem down. If you go to a man like that, what are you doing? He doesn't care about you.
BC says, fighter, why does it bother you when women encourage other women to raise their standards for sexual access? Are you going to lose holes in your rotation if that happens? Yeah, 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 yeah. Trust me. Trust me. Fighter is cheap. He he ain't paying for nothing. And if uh if all the women in the world thought like this, fighter wouldn't have no women. Read it like you'll read your Bible. Royal 1993. Yes, I would read whole tactics like you read the Bible. Absolutely. <laughs> Diddy said whole tactics is the Bible. Diddy said whole tactics is the Bible. Girl. It's true. If you have your eye on the ball and in control of your emotion, you will always win and be in control. Absolutely. And people don't realize the more you control yourself, the more you have control over everything around you, your situations, even other people. But the more you try to control other people, that's when you lose control. But the more you control yourself and control your reactions and control your emotions, that's when you that's when you have more control. And a lot of people don't realize this. <laughs> the Machiavellian Amber says, preach. Apple Girl says, preach. Uh, Daisy Divini says, this is exactly what I needed today. I was literally just looking for another book to read. Yay! Daisy Divinity, come back to the channel. You know, I'm pretty responsive with comments. I try to respond to them as much as I can. But tell me how it goes, you know. Come back to the next live and tell me how the book goes. Everybody, like, we could, girl, girls, we could make a little book reading club. Actually, let me know, guys. If you want me to start a Facebook group where I would go live, and give y'all some game, let me know. It would be a secret group, okay? It would be free at first. Actually, I don't know if it would be free. Well, I'm sorry, I don't know if it would be secret. It would be free, but I don't know if it would be secret. But we have to make sure that that trolls and undercover men don't like show up in the group, you know? But I was thinking about making a Facebook group for a while. <clears throat> Cause I can't say everything on YouTube. But anyway, let me know if you'd be interested in a group. Uh, like a book club, maybe like a book club group or just like a strategy group. Winning, win-win to you always. Time equals money. <sighs> Terry Glazer says, um, yes, educate yourself, build your confidence, learn about men, women, science, biology, and human behavior. Absolutely. And this is why I encourage whole tactics, but also the art of seduction by Robert Greene. The 48 laws of power by Robert Greene. And... Um, the Laws of Human Nature by Robert Greene. All of those books you can get on Audible. And if you keep your trial, they give you a free book every single month. So I had my Audible account for like a year and like every month I would just get a free new book for having the um, Audible account. And I got all of these Robert Greene books and I just like listened to them. Every day it was like a religion. I made sure I listened to those books. <laughs> okay, you should charge. I will filter out the cheap shows catfishing as women. Ooh, I mean, okay, like how much would y'all pay to be in a, in a in a in like a secret group? Like, how much would y'all pay? What's what what is a um what is a uh a reasonable price? Cause I got I got some game. I, I got some game. Um. I'm an avid Robert Greene reader. I mean, absolutely. Robert Greene is everything. <laughs> oh, so I would charge once for a, a group. I would charge just once. I mean, I, I wouldn't. It, it ain't gonna be monthly. I ain't doing. I don't got. I don't got. Um. um Henry the. What the heck? Henry VIII even broke from the Catholic Church and made England Lutheran for Anne Boleyn. Girl. Machiavelli Empress. And do you know what Anne Boleyn looked like? Hold on. Let me look at, let me look, look. Wait, we're going we gonna to do something right here. Listen, Machiavelli, oh, look. Machiavelli and Empress just opened, opened up some, opened up something. You just opened up something. This man moved, oh, Literally moved the kingdom for a woman, right? And 
Bo Lynn. Let me, what was she looking like? Anne Boleyn. This is what this woman looked like, y'all. Is this woman more than average? This is Anne Boleyn. You, what you, what you think this woman, uh, you, you think it was her metrics that got, uh, King Henry VIII to, to kill people for her and, 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 and move kingdoms and nations for her? It, it wasn't her metrics. It wasn't her metrics. I'm sure she was not the fairest lady of the land. It was that psychology. So this is why I tell you, don't stop. I mean, Kevin Samuels is not for women. Kevin Samuels is for men. Kevin Samuels does not want to help women. He wants to help men, okay? And how he treated this young lady was crazy. Listen, that book has changed my life and that book will always be held close. I mean, Jill Lambert actually cares. Like I keep saying this over and over again. Like I, I sound like a parrot, right? Like he cares about women. You can't take advice from people who you know don't care about you. If you take advice from people who don't have your best interest in mind, they will set you up for failure every time. And I feel like Kevin Samuels is truly setting these women up for failure. He's not sitting here. He's not giving her the tools. If Kevin really wanted to help this woman to give her the tools to get a high earning man, he would say, OK, well, you want to put yourself in, in, in the position to meet one. You go to investment clubs. You go to real estate uh, lectures. You go here, you go here, you go here. Maybe some country clubs. He just said, you don't know where they are. You got a kid. No. If you, if he obviously he's not here to help women, he's here to tear down their self esteem for the entertainment of the men who watch him. He's not here to help women. Kevin Samuels is not here to help women. He is here to tear the women's self esteem down so that the men can laugh and feel good about themselves. He's serving men, he is not serving women. I would join the group, one-time fee. Is it a monthly? Me and Melanie are down. <laughs> All right. Um, Melanie, you have my Facebook, so you can message me. What? Okay, how about this? Um, if, you, if you're interested in the group, um, and we can talk about... I just got to know you're real and that you're not a catfish. Um, hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on Instagram if you're interested in a group. Uh, where we can like talk about whole tactics and have this uh, book club. And you can hit me up on Instagram. My my Instagram handle is at universe.trip. Universe.trip. Um, I'll put this in the chat for you guys. This is um my this is my Instagram handle. If you go to my Instagram account and send me uh, a DM we can talk about a group. We can talk about um, a group, and I, when I when I set it up, I will um, send you the link through Instagram. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't even seem like he likes women. Actually, you know. Yeah, I mean, he's he's not here to help women. That's the thing. Don't listen to man coaching women. Oh, um, uh, so Fighter says, where is like I saw his comment. Fighter says, isn't Robert Green a man? Yeah, Robert Green is a man, but Robert Green isn't a dating coach. Robert Green teaches everybody. Robert Green loves everybody. Robert Green is not like Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels likes men, and he sees women as competition. He on a DL. He don't like women. He's not here to help women. He's here to stroke the egos of men. I mean, Robert, Robert Green doesn't tear down the self-esteem of women. Robert Green gives you practical advice and strategies on how to improve your life. Kevin Samuels doesn't give any practical advice to women on how to improve their life. All he does is say, you're too fat. You're too old. You got too many kids. You'll never get a high earning man. You'll never get a high value man. And it's like, you didn't help the women do anything. You didn't give her any advice. You didn't give her any advice. All you did is try to tear her down. 
Robert Green, you can't even compare Robert. Robert Green is brilliant. You can't compare Kevin Samuels to Robert Robert Green. Robert Green gives advice. Melanie Hazleton says, Yes, I need to watch that. Amberlynn wasn't that cute. No, she wasn't. Because she had that psychology. She had game. Amberlynn had game. Amberlynn understood people's psychological weaknesses. It won her metrics. You got the prettiest women out here, the, the, the best bodies youngest prettiest women with the best bodies getting played they don't control nothing you got women out here average average looking marrying billionaires and got billionaires wrapped around their finger average 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 looking women average middle-aged women average looking women in their 40s and 50s cleaning up on billionaires and millionaires and you got the prettiest, youngest women with the best bodies can barely get a man to do anything for her because she's not in control because she don't got no game and she don't got the psychological prowess. The Mackie, okay, see, this is, see, this is key. And in whole tactics, GL Lambert talks about this. In whole tactics, GL Lambert talks about this. He tells you, you can get a lot and it's the safest way. Never sleep with these men. You can get rent paid. You can get your mortgages paid. You can get car notes. You can get anything you want. Fine jewelry. Hey, Empress Lisa. <laughs> Was it her metrics? That's what I'm saying. Anne Boleyn, look, look, we're going to look at Anne Boleyn's picture one more again because people ain't listening. You know, people who are obsessed with metrics don't understand psychology and seduction. Yes, metrics help. Yes, metrics can hurt. But can metrics stop somebody who got some real psychological game? Hell no. Hell no. Can metrics stop someone who got some true psychological game? No. Because look at Anne Boleyn. Look like a, never mind. She looks, it was not her metrics. It wasn't her metrics. I just say that. Psychology. He sent men up too. I don't know. No, he's just, I just don't see him as, I don't think he's setting men up. I just think he's stroking their egos. That's it. He, he only stroking an ego. He only stroking a man's ego. You know, like he's making plenty of money off of these men because he's saying the things that men want to hear. Men want to see a woman uh, torn down. They, they want to see a woman disrespected. Men want to see insecure men, insecure men who want to use women, insecure men who want easy access to women. They want to see what Kevin is doing to women. They want to see men tear down a woman's self-esteem because it makes them feel better because they really don't have anything to offer. So he's making a lot of money off of these men. He's making a lot of money off of the, his male audience because his male audience wants to live in this fantasy world and believe that they're in control when the women holds all of the power in these relationships. <clears throat> Thank you for helping us build some game. All right, listen, I'm going to make a group. I'm going to make a Facebook group for you guys. Hit me up on um, Instagram. When I make the group, I will let y'all know and I'll send you the link. But make sure you hit me up on Instagram so when I make the group, I can just send the link to all of you, okay? I mean, I think this is very obvious. You know, the Machiavellian Empress says Kevin is an undercover brother. Definitely. I think it's very obvious. <laughs> Melanie Hazleton says more pee for him. Exactly. Exactly. No, Robert Green is everything. And Kevin expects money and refuses to go on unless he gets paid and you donate or press likes constantly. Oh, hell yeah. And that's feminine, right? That's a very feminine trait. I ain't doing nothing until you do give me this. All right? Hold on. 
I might. I, I, I think. I think Jill Lambert got some more. Um, let me see. Honestly, I wish I caught on to the game sooner, but it's better late than never. Definitely, me too. I mean, I wish I. I wish I'd known this at like seventeen. You know. Oh gosh, if if listen, if I knew this at seventeen, I'd be a millionaire for sure. Listen, PhD women getting played by a GED man. Definitely. Definitely. Is this question for me? Do I like men? I mean, I I, I acknowledge their existence. I don't know. Most women give in for some good deed. Let's not play dumb. I don't, I, I can't really relate. Can't relate to that. Cause I, I never really had any that good for me to give in to what I want. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I've had some impressive uh, experiences, but I not, 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 not impressive enough for me to drop my goals. Like that's not what happened. Um, it's been, it benefits us in society to make more responsible strategic sexual decisions and to get fit ladies but prioritize your game for men that seduction and femininity develop your personality too. I, I mean, this is great advice, BC. This is great advice. I mean, you got it. You got it, girl. As much as those men say accomplishments don't matter, they do. They don't want to feel inadequate next, inadequate next to yours. Absolutely. These tactics should be the law. Absolutely. Okay, guys. Yeah, I mean, everybody, a lot of women think he's down low, you know, like that's not. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to highlight this comment right here from Royal 1993. She says, these tactics should be law. I agree. I think these tactics should be law. This is why I'm providing you guys. I got the hookup for y'all. I'm providing you guys with the hookup. You can get Audible for free for 30 days if you click in my description, the link below in the in, in the freebie section. If you go to my description below the video and you go to the and you go to the freebie section of the video description, there's a there's a line that says you get a free Audible trial. If you just click the link, make a make an Audible account, pick the book Code Tactics. And just listen to it. Please. Everyone here, listen to the book Whole Tactics. It will change your life. If every woman read this book, it will be game over. You wouldn't see no more women out here getting played. You wouldn't. You wouldn't see it. <clears throat> Okay. All right. <sighs> so you guys want to find an angel to emasculate him. Fighter, when a man uh, does not protect and provide, he, he emasculates himself. When a man tries to exploit women, try to exploit women and try to gain access uh, to women and try to gain access to women's sexuality without um, giving her, providing for her, he's emasculating himself. He's emasculating himself. Because in a patriarchal system, a man exploiting and taking advantage of a woman is similar to someone exploiting someone help. It's like, it's like someone that's big and strong. He has patriarchy backing him. He, he's physically stronger and he's trying to exploit and take advantage of someone weaker and smaller and, and, and with less privilege. That's like these weird guys preying on children, pedophiles. That's what it is. When a man tries to take advantage of a woman it's similar to that family member who's a pedophile, you know, you know, that uncle that everybody stays away from because they know they'd be touching on little girls. 
you know, that uncle. And here's the thing. So fighter, you're saying that you want to provide for a good woman, but you want to provide for a good woman. But a lot of men in the meantime, while they go find that good woman, they like to take advantage of other women. And when you take advantage of women, you are doing something very, very lowly because you're taking advantage of someone with less institutional power and privilege and who's actually physically weaker than you. So like, it makes you just like a, a special type of low. And a lot of men are like this. A lot of men are really that low. Um, Jacqueline Fleming says, are you just bringing a separation between black uh, women and men when the enemy has been blocking our goals through separation? Who's the enemy, Jacqueline Fleming? Please tell me who is the enemy. You have 80% of women 80% of black women providing in the household. We have men refusing to be men. Who's the enemy? When you have black men uh, marrying out at high rates and providing for non-black women, but refusing to provide for black women. Who's the enemy? The Machiavellian Empress says, uh, fighter out here wild in, in a feminine space. Why are you so worried about us? Why not just focus on yourself? Listen, remember Remember when Fighter came on the live stream and somebody in the chat section said, universe, why can't you get a high value man up on here on this panel? And I said, they not here. High value men are out here making money. They not here. They not here up in the chat trying to argue with a woman about what women want and what women deserve. They not here. They not here. They not up in the space. So Machiavelli and Empress, you got your answer. You know why he here. Because he ain't out there making money, preparing to provide for that good woman he say he want. He wasting his time right here trying to argue with us. A high value man would not be here trying to argue with us. He would be out here getting money, working on himself to prepare for his woman, to prepare to build a family, to prepare to be a protector and provider. He wouldn't be here trying to fight with women. Exactly. A lot of men don't want to be responsible and pride and provide and be a true man. A lot of them don't. Terry Glazer says, uh, bam, exactly universe. The Machiavellian Empress said, uh, I said that. Yeah, girl, you, you said that. You said that. That was me who asked about the high value men. Trying to change our minds instead of changing his life. Girl, it ain't going to change. It's like men like that. They just want to use women. <clears throat> okay. All right, but anyway, I gotta go. Like this the live has been on for almost an hour. Thank you guys for coming through. It was very we we had a great, great discussion. I'm gonna check my Instagram. Um <laughs> when they say, Well, wait, wait, wait. Then they say, Well, they ain't no good women, so they don't have to provide. I know. I know it's an excuse. They just want to get free SEX everywhere. And women have stopped doing that. Ain't no reason to be doing that. Um, let me check my Instagram. So if you guys are interested in the book club, I'm checking my Instagram DM right now. So I got, I'll say I got Machiavellian Empress right here. I got your DM. Uh, let me check. <clears throat> got some in my uh, requests. Melanie, okay, I got you. Um, Jen, okay, gotcha. I got gotcha. y'all. Okay, I got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Okay, accept uh, primary. I'm gonna send you, I'm gonna send you guys the link. Accept primary. Okay, all right, guys. All right, ladies, I got gotcha. y'all. So I got three, I got three DMs from y'all. I got three DMs from you ladies about um, the group, about the book club. I'm telling you, everyone, I need everyone to read the book, Whole Tactics. I need everyone to read that book, Whole Tactics, okay? <clears throat> and then we can talk about it. And some strategies on, on how to not, not, not to get played because, you know, women can't afford to get played because we already getting played by patriarchy. So we're getting paid, we're getting played on a, uh, on a, system, on a systemic level. We can't afford to get played on the individual level as well. Okay. Okay. So I got you. I got days. Okay. Days of divinity. I got you too. I got you too. All right. Great. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you guys. 
and Empress Lisa got you too. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay. All right, great. I hope the, I mean, I just need a good like 20 people in the group so it can be um, just engaging and anyway. <clears throat> Melanie, your 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 Instagram picture is beautiful. Your Instagram picture is beautiful, Melanie. And I know Fighter tried to come for your looks the last time, but Fighter don't understand. Melanie can marry a man and become a millionaire tomorrow or next month based off of who she marries, but Fighter can't do that. Okay, so Jacqueline, okay, so Jacqueline, okay, I'm glad you're bringing this up. Uh, you know, Jacqueline, I, I really am glad you're bringing this up. So I got to go soon, but I want you to think about something, Jacqueline, okay? Um, let me let me see if I can find it because I'm going to share it with you. <sighs> I'm going to try to find it. I really need you to see this, Jacqueline. I really need you to see this. And I used to, because Jacqueline, I used to think the same way. I, I, I really did. So I understand. I, I really understand where, where you're coming from. Um, Jacqueline is saying the enemy is the American system that has impeded the goals of all non whites through holding back all non white men. I, I, Jacqueline, I agree with you 100%, girl. I really do. But there's a but. But there's a but. And then, and then Jacqueline is saying, um, isn't that just promoting the demise of the black and brown man? Okay, we're going we to get to that. We're going to get to that, Jacqueline. Oh, my goodness. Didi talking about she's going to pay 100 per month. Didi, I would not I would not charge all that much. That's kind of crazy. I wouldn't even charge you $100 for a one time. I wouldn't do that. Because this is a support group for all of us, you know. Um all right, so let me, so Daisy, I mean, I'm sorry, not Daisy, um, Jacqueline Fleming. Okay, I'll show you something, Jacqueline, Miss Jacqueline. Miss Jacqueline. Hold on, I gotta unshare my screen. I gotta unshare it, and then I gotta share my screen again. Let me, let me get this for you, Miss Jacqueline. Let me get it for you. So, so Miss Jacqueline, I want you to read this, okay? All right, so Miss Jacqueline, here we go, right here. Miss Jacqueline, read this for me. Read this for me, sweet, sweetie. It says, men lift their women up. That's how it ought to be. The reason white women were considered the standard of, standard of beauty, even though they truly are not, is because they are the same race and ethnicity as the most powerful men in the world. If the king wants it, the peasants will aspire towards it. And let me tell you, black men are not out here conquering anything for us. A lot of black men are out here trying to partner up with white women. A lot of black men are out here upholding other races of women. This is why black men are continually ranked at the bottom of the social hierarchy in the world, okay? Because they don't lift up their own women. I don't know, some, somehow black men just didn't get the memo that in order for you to succeed, you have to uplift your women, okay? So Jacqueline, I understand what you're saying. Yes, there are a lot of um, barriers to wealth building and, and, and a lot of other things that, that men of color have to face, but these men of color do not do their part when it comes to uplifting their own women. So until men of color uplift their own women and protect and provide and defend, fiercely defend their women like, they're the women, like their women defend them, they will never prosper. And they will always be conquered by other races of men. Black men will always be conquered by other races of men as long as they do not fiercely protect and provide for their women. You know how when the Black Lives Matter protests happened and all the iconic pictures were of women standing up against the police and you didn't really see no men? <laughs> Didi, what? <laughs> no, Didi, I'm not. Trust me, I'm not. 
Definitely not. Weird. Okay, Dee Dee. <laughs> Melanie Hazleton says, thanks. Love my pick on here. I, is Oh, on here. It's actually outdated. It's like two years old. My most current picks be on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, no, that pic, that pic with you was very pretty on Instagram. That's why I had I had to say something because um, Fighter was trying to come at you the other day. And that's just not true, you know. And I'm mm, anyway. Anywho, into who? Oh, thank you guys. You guys are very sweet. <laughs> Told y'all she glowing. Okay, thank you. <laughs> anyway, okay, but um, just hit me up on Instagram. My handle is at universe.trip and I will have to go soon. If you're interested in a book club, if you're interested in learning how to not get played by men, because I mean, trust me, a lot of men are out here conspiring in their own little groups on how to get free access to you ladies, because that's how valuable they are. You have men literally making groups and, and whole businesses around this is how you get SEX for free from women. Like literally, this is a whole industry. Men pay other men to get tips on how to get free SEX. SEX that they didn't have to earn, that they didn't have to work for, that they didn't have to invest in. Okay? And that's, you know, that's on us to make sure they don't get that. Make sure they invest because we are taking on a bunch of risk by dealing with men. We are the ones that get pregnant. We are the ones that are left single mothers if it doesn't work out. We are the ones who are more susceptible to getting STDs. We are the ones more susceptible to being sexually assaulted. We are the ones that risk our lives to have sexual relationships with men. So we should not be doing this freely without any type of reward for the risk. No reward, no risk. No reward, no risk. The man is not rewarding you for the sexual risks you take. And you know, a lot of it's not even sexual. For being in the presence of a man is a risk for a woman if you just look at the violence against women around the world. So if there's no reward, you shouldn't be taking those risks. Hey girl, it's been a minute. Hey Matt, yeah, it has been a minute. I haven't been on like I usually. Uh, thank you for investing in us. You're very welcome. So Jacqueline Fleming, I just encourage you to, again, read this post one more time. Just read this post, Jacqueline Fleming, since it's very hard for you to understand, okay? Women can only do but so much. Black women have been holding down the fort. If you look at the rates at which Black women graduate from college and which Black women op open up and start businesses and which Black women succeed in corporate America, it, it, it really just, it's no comparison to the men. Like Black women are doing far like they're just doing so much better than black men. Black women are have been doing everything for a very long time. There's only but so much we can do. It's time for the men to step up. 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 It's time for the men to step up because just look at the just look at the statistics. Just look at the statistics. 80% of black women are the breadwinners in their families, in their households. What more can women do? You have women playing, you have women put in the position to play the man and the woman because the men ain't there. The men ain't there. What more can women do if they're doing everything already? I have a feeling you might be a man with a, a, a fake female account, but anyway. The Machiavellian Empress says, do you still use Art and products? Yeah, sure I do. Almost every day. I, I have some um, of those oils and um, some coconut oil that I put on my body. But anyway, uh, I just moisturize my body with coconut oil and I like 
put the oils in the coconut oil because they smell really good. But anyway, I'm going to say this again. If you're interested in reading Whole Tactics, please do so. It's life changing. Don't listen to Kevin Samuels. Um, don't listen to Kevin Samuels, okay? He is there to help men. He's not there to help women. Um, and if you really, if you want, if you must take the advice of a man, you should take advice from GL Lambert and Robert Green. point blank period. Robert Green isn't really a dating coach, but GL Lambert, GL Lambert, look him up on Twitter, follow his Twitter account. If you must take advice from a man, if you must. Take it from G.L. Lambert, okay? And go to my description below this video and get a free Audible trial. It is in the freebie section of this video. Take advantage, take advantage, take advantage, okay? Because I didn't even play this video because, honestly, Kevin Samuels doesn't deserve any more attention. He's already torn down enough of uh, you know, women's self-esteem. If you want a man that really cares about women, if you want his advice and you want him to help you build your self-esteem, read Jill Lambert. This is the book. Go to Audible. Go to my description uh, below. Go to the freebie section of my description below and, and get your free Audible trial. Click the link. Okay. You need to listen to this book, everybody. And if you and if you message and if you uh, send me a message on Instagram. Y'all, listen, you need to have listened to at least the first chapter before I start this book, okay? I mean, before I start this uh, Facebook group so we can talk about it. See, Didi, this is a really good skill. I take my physical flaws and make the men believe <laughs> believe that's their new obsession. If I believe it, they believe it. Damn right. Damn right. All right, so I'll see you lovely people later. Thank you guys for coming through. This has been a great live. All, all my ladies came through today. I love y'all. Didi came through. Melanie always comes through. That's my girl. Madam of the Hue came through. Daisy Divinity came through. Terry Glazier. Terry, Terry, Terry's always here. Royal 1993. Thank you for the video suggestion, Royal 1993. This is a great video suggestion. Uh, Empress Lisa. Empress Lisa is always here as well. Terry Glazier and the Machiavellian Empress. Hey, girl. BC, she coming through, but I'll see you guys later, okay? And you can also message me on Instagram if you want me to do a specific video topic, and I'll do it. And her piece came through, all right? Um, so I'll talk to you lovely people later, okay? All right, bye, see you later.